Welcome back to Explaining Everything, the channel where we dive into the stories and mysteries behind everyday things. Today's question comes from one of our insect-loving viewers, to be or not to be 44. Thanks for the suggestion, B. Accurate username, by the way. You asked, how do bumblebees fly despite defying physics? If you've ever watched a bumblebee zipping around like a tiny over-caffeinated drone, you might have wondered, how is that even possible? After all, these little guys are round, fuzzy, and have wings that look way too small for the job. So what's going on here? Are bumblebees secretly defying physics? Or did humans just mess up the math? Today, we're uncovering the truth behind bumblebee flight, right here on Explaining Everything. All right, let's start with the myth that's been buzzing around for decades. Somewhere back in the 1930s, a couple of scientists who were actually aerodynamic engineers studying planes took one look at bumblebees and went, yeah, that shouldn't work. Their math, based on airplane physics, suggested that a bumblebee's stubby little wings shouldn't generate enough lift to keep its chunky body in the air. Essentially, if bumblebees followed the same rules as birds or planes, they should be about as airborne as a potato. But, as we all know, bumblebees are out here flying anyway, mocking our calculations like tiny rebels against physics itself. So, did they actually break the rules? Or did we just make a massive mistake? Spoiler, it's the second one. Turns out, the problem wasn't with bumblebees. It was with our assumptions. Scientists originally thought bumblebees flapped their wings up and down like birds. But when researchers finally started looking at their flight using high-speed cameras, they realized something shocking. Bumblebees don't flap like birds. They flap like, well, a flying potato doing jazz hands. Here's what's happening. First, their wings don't just go up and down, they rotate. Instead of making big, powerful strokes like birds, bumblebees sweep their wings in a circular motion, creating tiny tornadoes of air that give them extra lift. Second, they flap ridiculously fast. We're talking 130 to 240 times per second. For comparison, the fastest birds, like hummingbirds, flap about 50 times per second. Bumblebees are out here tripling that. Third, their wings are weirdly flexible. Unlike rigid airplane wings, a bumblebee's wings bend and twist mid-flight, allowing them to make constant micro-adjustments. This makes them incredibly maneuverable, even with those oddly shaped bodies. Essentially, they are not cheating physics. They're just playing by a completely different set of rules. Okay, so their wing movement is weird. But how do they even power all of that flapping? The answer, absurdly strong chest muscles. Bumblebees don't flap their wings by directly moving them like we move our arms. Instead, they have indirect flight muscles, which means they squeeze their entire thorax, like flexing their pecs really fast to make their wings move. Imagine if, instead of waving your arms, you just flexed your chest and your arms started swinging on their own. That's what bumblebees do. And here's the best part. These vibrating chest muscles don't just help them fly, they also generate heat. That's why bumblebees can fly in colder weather, while other insects are stuck waiting for the sun to warm them up. Bumblebees aren't just good at flying. They're basically tiny, fuzzy, self-heating helicopters. 
The whole bumblebees shouldn't be able to fly idea stuck around because for a long time, scientists were using the wrong models to study them. They tried applying airplane physics to bumblebees, which makes about as much sense as trying to explain how a submarine works by studying a hot air balloon. It wasn't until researchers in the late 20th century used high-speed cameras and airflow studies that they realized bumblebees weren't breaking physics. They were just using a method we hadn't fully understood. So no, bumblebees aren't magical. They don't have tiny jet engines hidden in their fluff. We just underestimated them hard. Oh, and here's something even cooler. Even though they look like they're flying in the most chaotic way possible, bumblebees are actually super efficient. Instead of wasting energy with every wing beat, they recycle their wing strokes in a way that minimizes effort. They can even adjust their wing angles to conserve energy mid-flight. So while they look like clumsy little blimps, barely holding themselves together, they're actually aerodynamic geniuses. So, what have we learned today? Bumblebees aren't defying physics. They're just flying in a way that confused humans for decades. They use circular wing motions, air vortices, and flexible wings to stay aloft, all powered by ridiculously strong vibrating chest muscles. Basically, they're not breaking the rules. They're rewriting them. And honestly, that feels very on-brand for bumblebees. So next time you see one buzzing around your garden, give it a little nod of respect. Because while humans spent decades trying to figure out how they fly, bumblebees were just out there doing it. If you enjoyed this, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon. Otherwise, a bumblebee might show up and start questioning your knowledge of aerodynamics. And hey, if you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for tuning in and join us next time here in the channel that answers all the why, what, who, where and how questions you've always wondered about here on Explaining Everything.